Hey guys, Rich here from Inner Unit. I'm just recording this quick video before I go into work today. Um, and it's a response to a post I wrote yesterday about um, your environments and, and how influential your environments are. So I kind of felt it'd be a great idea just to follow up on that with um, a cool video that I, am, uh, I hope you like. Um, and I want to talk to you about how your environments will influence your moods and then how your moods will influence your uh, language and choices uh, and actions that you make throughout the day. So, briefly going over the, the post, um, you may have seen it, you may have not. Uh, if you haven't, then just simply scroll down the timeline and I'm sure you'll find it uh, a couple of posts down below. Because um, it's just pretty good re read and there's some great information there for you. But um, like I said, I just want to want to follow on with this and about how an environment where you are feeling threatened or you you know there's something that's triggering um, some kind of um, I don't know past emotions or or past negative feelings or thoughts, um, and this will then essentially affect your mood. Now, as you may know, or you may not know, I've been studying a lot of um, neuroscience and brain science for the last 18 months, two years now, and you know this this has literally changed my life, and it's also changed my client's life because it's helped me understand a lot more about um, human behaviour and you know why we do the things we do. Um, you know, a lot of conversations that I have with people we talk about uh, people being weak-willed and you know no motivation. Um, you know, they, you know, they haven't got the strength, uh, they haven't got the confidence, they haven't got the belief anymore. And to be truthful, you know, I, I always open up the conversations to explore that. But what I find is that the majority of people. Um, once they've once we've shone the light on that and they've had the realization, then most of them thoughts and them feelings have come from you know their moods, um, and their moods being one of uh, negativity. Now, what what re what's really happening for you guys is that you know the brain is 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 essentially a, a scanning machine yeah it's scanning the environment all the time and it's looking for safe safety all the time if it if it perceives something that's threatening whether it's physical threat uh, th you know th uh, threatening um, to your social um, uh, social place or threatening to you socially um, or you know, threatening to, you know, you know, potential potential life threatening harm. Then what the brain will do is trigger trigger a part of the brain called the amygdala, and the amygdala then will start to lower the hedonic tone. Well, you know what? How I can simplify that for you guys is it just lowers your mood. Yeah, um, the hedonic tone when it's high is is when you're feeling. You know, you you'll you'll experience the feelings of being high and 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 joy and fun and uh, positivity. When the hedonic tone is turned down um, due to threat, then the the moods will change to more uh, gravitating towards more negative thoughts and um, you know maybe asking questions that you can't get clarity on. So, without going too deep, you know the reactions and, and from this. Um, you know, can open up a plethora of um, past emotions and past past habits, um, and that's because simply, you know, whenever you're th under threat, um, something that's happened before, you'll have you'll have created a pattern on how you've reacted to that or responded to that. Um, so yeah, guys, you know, the moods are very very important, and you know, this is why I have conversations around environments and moods. Um, and the, the the core principles of of what I believe is 
you know, it contributes to people's health and, and, and moods as well. Um, I don't believe that, you know, you're weak-willed. I don't believe that you're, um, you have no, you know, willpower. Uh, I don't believe you have no confidence. I don't, I don't believe this. I just think it's uh, conversations that you're having in your head because essentially, you know, you can't predict and respond to, to create safety. Uh, whenever there's threat so you know I hope this video has, has, has been um, easy to understand and clear guys um, but I have a little challenge for you and what I'd like you to do is for the next seven days is kind of like do like a, a quick journal every day and what I'd like to do is at the end of every day is just note down what kind of mood that you've been in, whether it's been a positive uh, or negative, or if you want to go a little bit more in depth, actually name the mood. Yeah, if, if, if you felt anxious, frustrated, um, happy, uh, sad, whatever, just just make a note of it for the next seven days and track your moods. Um, you may be surprised actually of uh, of kind of what what's really going off and um, what we'll do, guys. You know, if you if you if you do do the seven day challenge and and track your moves, um, then what I'd like to do, you know, if you've got some questions that you'd like to uh, ask ask me and talk and have a conversation around, then reach out. You know, reach out and uh, let's talk because um, I love having conversations like that. It's uh, it's very powerful stuff, especially when you have the the light bulb moments and, and the realizations that um, essentially it is your moods that are influencing your choices and your actions and your feelings and your thoughts and your language and the way you speak about yourself and the way you feel about yourself and the way you perform at work and in your relationships. All right, guys, thanks for listening and have a great day.